Since the first Apple computer system was developed and hand-built by Steve Wozniak in 1976, Apple has become an innovator of technology. Every product they've released throughout the years has been packed with the most groundbreaking tech on the market. Now, their latest product that will take another massive leap into the future is Apple Glass. One day soon, users will interact with information and digital objects via transparent glass worn over their eyes. In today's video, we'll take a deep dive into all the current information known about this life-changing device and when we can expect them to hit the stores. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll never miss out on any of our future videos. Design There haven't been leaked photos of the actual design, but it is rumored that Apple wants these glasses to look fashionable and approachable. Apple Watch is a good place to look for how Apple handles wearable design. Subtle, but still obviously a piece of tech. Much of what has been shown in patents looks like safety glasses, though these are prototype drawings meant to illustrate the patent and not the product. Ultimately, Apple Glass could look like an average pair of glasses, but there's no way of knowing until something more official leaks out. Designing a tech product that users will want to wear on their face is no simple task. Style, color, and even lens shape will make or break most purchasing decisions. And Apple is a company known for a one-size-fits-all approach to many of its products. John Prosser had seen the early prototypes of the glasses and called them sleek in a June 2020 leak. He estimated a 2021 release, although none were ever announced during that year. A new rumor came from Prosser on May 21st, when he said there would be a Heritage Edition set of glasses designed to look like the ones worn by Steve Jobs. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman felt the need to step in and say that all the rumors up to that point were false. Gurman asserts that there are two distinct devices, as reported by Apple Insider over the years. One is the purported glasses, and the other a VR headset. Prosser agrees that there are two devices, but does not agree with Gurman's lengthy release timeline of 2023 for the glasses. Sony may be supplying half-inch micro OLED displays for the glasses at 1280 by 960 resolution. The order for the displays is expected to be fulfilled by the first half of 2022, according to sources. A patent revealed late in 2020 points to an Apple VR or AR headset automatically adjusting the lenses placed in front of the user's eyes by using fluids to deform the shape of the lens to improve the user's eyesight. The patent suggests a series of lens components around a central fluid chamber that can be inflated and emptied by a connected pump and reservoir. Later rumors pointed to delays in manufacturing the Apple glasses. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo says the Apple glass may not be ready until 2025, with a set of AR contacts set for a 2030 launch. Processing capabilities and battery life, wireless signals, smart displays, microphones, powerful processors, and LiDAR add up to a device in need of a big battery. If Apple wants a device that everyone wants to wear, it not only has to look good, it has to perform. A massive battery and hot processor just won't cut it. So Apple will have to find a balance. One aspect Apple can cut back on is processing power. As with the first generation Apple Watch, the smart glasses could rely upon the iPhone for all processing needs and act only as a display for the information. By relaying information from the phone to the glasses, Apple will drastically cut down on local processing and need only worry about powering the display and sensors. Their rumored release date is in 2025, so the technology allowing a slim and light pair of Apple Glass could mature by then. One patent filed by Apple shows a series of base stations and IR tracking devices that could be used to process data and transfer information to Apple Glass or a VR headset. These tracking tools being offloaded to a dedicated base station would allow better tracking and less battery usage for the wearable. Think of a museum being able to follow a user around and show relevant data in the glasses, with the base stations doing all the work. Joni Ive once stated that a product can be in development for years, waiting for the technology to catch up with the idea. Apple is likely to take the same approach here, developing the AR glasses into different iterations internally while the technology is allowed to mature. 
Apple's AirPods are a good example of a super compact device with good battery life. Even as small as the AirPods Pro are, they last for several hours with ANC on. If the prototype models are sleek like Professor says, then Apple may have already solved their design problems surrounding battery life. The glasses will need to serve the customer as a piece of tech and a piece of fashion, but will also need to serve a third function for many, work as actual glasses. It is expected that Apple will offer an option to order a prescription lens, but a patent describes another option. The lens themselves could adjust for the user wearing them. Privacy and Apple Glass Apple does not plan on including a camera in Apple Glass, as the privacy and social implications alone would be insurmountable. According to John Prosser, Apple will only have sensors like LiDAR on the frame, which allows for environmental awareness and gestures without encroaching on others' privacy. Apple tends to sell products with a lot of overlap, but the iPhone has always been the Apple camera, and that isn't likely to change. Unlike Google Glass, which seemed to want to replace the smartphone entirely, Apple's product will augment the iPhone experience. Another expectation is that only the wearer will be able to view the content on the glasses, so that a random passerby cannot peek into your business. Apple has also looked into using Apple Glass for authentication. Rather than utilizing the built-in biometrics of your iPhone, the headset could detect if the wearer is looking at the device and unlock it immediately. The feature would only work after authenticating the wearer when putting on the glasses for the first time, much like the Apple Watch. Starboard User Interface the iPhone has Springboard, the set of icons that act as your home screen. Apple's glasses have Starboard. No interface elements have leaked or even been described, but it is assumed that Apple will adapt its iconography and UI for an AR interface. Code surrounding the testing of such a UI was found in the iOS 13 release candidate. Star tester code and references to a device that could be worn or held were found in the README file. Not much came from this, however but does corroborate the rumored Starboard UI name. The LiDAR sensor will allow for gesture control without the need for a controller or a marker. However, some patents have suggested that Apple might be making a controller for more interactive experiences, like games. As the first generation, expect most experiences to be passive. Look to Google Glass for this one. Expect to see incoming iMessages, directions overlaid in real life, and highlighted points of interest. While there won't be a camera to guide these experiences, LiDAR plus geolocation, compass direction, head tilt, eye tracking, and other sensors would go a long way in ensuring accuracy when displaying AR objects. The iPhone and Apple Watch could act as anchors for AR interactions as well. Users looking through their AR glasses would be the only ones able to see what is being displayed, which would give them greater privacy. Apple Glass Price and Release the biggest leak about Apple's potential wearable came on May 18, 2020. John Prosser said that the Apple Glass would be $499, plus the cost of prescription lenses. It is likely those lenses will need to be custom-made as well. So, depending on insurance, customers could easily spend $1,500 on the entire device. Ming-Chi Kuo says that Apple Glass will be released after an Apple VR headset. The VR headset is due sometime in 2022 with the glasses coming by 2025. Kuo also stated Apple will release contact lenses with AR capabilities sometime in 2030 or later. That's all for today, folks. We hope you found the video informative and fun to watch. Also, tell us in the comments section your view about Apple glasses and whether you think it's going to give the Mac a run for its money. And if you enjoy the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon next to it for regular updates. Goodbye.